Cruise control can be added to any movement on the drone, i.e. forwards, going backwards, moving side to side, so sideways, left and right, upwards, rising, downwards, lowering, and turning to the left and turning to the right. But you need movement or momentum for cruise control to work or engage. The best way to start and stop the cruise control on the DJI drone is to pre-program it to work with the C2 button on the back of the controller. The way you do this is you go into the settings for the C2 button, press the control tab at the top and scroll down and go to button customization and then pick up the C2 button which is at the top. The C2 button will then toggle the cruise control on and off as you press it. Let's go out in the field now and explore all of the cruise control features. I'm going to press the video record button so you can actually see what you see through the camera which you would see in a video. Let's aim at the corner of the field now start to fly forward and you see I've hit the cruise control C2 button and it's 1.1 meters per second flying forward and it's cruising at that speed so you can see 15, 16, 17. Now I'm going to put a second layer on where I'm starting to rise push the drone upwards and we've got a rising drone as well as a drone flying forward. I'm now going to kill the cruise control by pressing the C2 button again and that stops it. Now let's have a look at a second shot now. So this is layer one flying backwards. I've enabled cruise control. We're flying backwards at 3.2 meters a second. A nice simple smooth shot flying past me and I'll kill it again. So that was a single layer shot, reverse shot. So flying backwards, single layer. Now I'm flying forward. I've enabled the cruise control by hitting the C2 button. It's going forward at a gentle speed. I've now updated it, so it's starting to rise. You can see 4.2, 4.3 meters, it's starting to rise. And I've also put a third layer in now, a turn. And I've pressed the third layer, and it's starting to turn. It'll continue to turn. And the drone is flying forward, rising and turning. Now I'm going to put a fourth action in, which is manual action, and I'm going to use the gimbal wheel to scroll the wheel down as we're turning. So you can see minus 15, minus 16, down to minus 24. So that's four different actions. Now I hit and hold the C2 button again and disable cruise control completely. Sometimes simple is best. Here I'm flying backwards. I've enabled cruise control. It's flying smoothly backwards and now I'm going to use the manual wheel on the gimbal, the gimbal wheel and move it up and down as the drone is going backwards. A very simple cruise control but effective move. Now I'm going to hit it, cruise control C2 button again and disable it. Now let's look at my final example of cruise control. I'll turn the drone around towards me. I'm now going to fly the drone backwards and enable cruise control by hitting the C2 button. I'm now going to let the drone rise by pushing the right stick forward and then I'll overlay the second layer on top of that. And we've got two layers running now and I'm going to use the manual wheel to turn the gimbal up and down. Now go and practice laying the different layers on cruise control and see how powerful it really is. Hope that's helpful. Happy flying. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded.